Hey there everybody, this just arrived in the mail from barustalika.com of Finland. It shipped from Finland to the United States in three business days. Let's get it open and see what's in there. Okay, this is what came. It was a pretty large box for the knife only being about yo big. But there it is. It is the Tarava Jakari Puko, 140 centimeter in high carbon steel. I actually have this exact knife in stainless steel, which I like. I liked it enough that I wanted to give it a try in the high carbon steel. So here it is. Okay, if you pay the extra 29 bucks, you get this leather sheath. It has a D-ring and a dangler on it for your belt. If you don't pay the extra 29 bucks, you just the knife just arrives in a little cardboard uh, piece of like a little cardboard sheath to protect the blade, but that's it. But if you pay the extra 29 bucks, you get this nice sheath with it. And I think the knife was about 29 bucks maybe or 30 bucks. So it's not super expensive. And here it is out of the sheath. The sheath has this nice snap on it. The knife will not come out when that's snapped. It also has a plastic insert down in there. Let me see if I can get that to show up at all. But there is a, a plastic insert down inside. Decent quality sheath. It's got a little drainage port there at the bottom. But... This is the knife that arrived. It's got a little white dust on it. It's still kind of blackened from the forging process. It's got a sharp 90 degree spine. I'm sure you could throw sparks from a ferro rod with this with no issue. This is a Jarava Puko. It's, so it's a Puko knife. Scandy grind there. Really nice looking. It's full tang. It's got kind of a hard rubberized handle. And this is part of the tang right here. Right there out the back. It's just like kind of like a stick tang that goes clear through to there. You could put a lanyard on this, obviously. It's got a tiny little bit of a hand guard there. It's got a palm swell. You can see that it swells out wide ways and long ways. And it's got a little bit of, of a kind of a butt cap guard there so your hand doesn't slide back too much. Fits my hand perfectly. They This comes in a smaller size too, but I actually opted for the larger one just because I wanted it to fit my hand properly. And I mean, I like any extra blade you can get. So I'm I'm all about if you can get an extra inch of blade or so, do it. Because it's that much more edge that you'll have to work with. I mean, within reason, obviously. Looks like the grind at the tip's a little bit off. Like one side looks a little more beveled than the other. But it's not terrible. These are workhorse knives. They usually come really sharp, and they're meant to be used, not to be pretty little wall hangers. And that's why I got it, to take it out and use it in the woods. Okay, let's get some measurements here. Looking at about 10 and a half inches overall. The actual handle where you can grip it is about four and a half inches. It's got about a five and a half inch, slightly past five and a half inch blade. Okay, let's do a paper cut test. This is straight out of the box. I haven't done anything to this blade yet. Got a sheet of printer paper here. Let's see if it arrived sharp. Very sharp. Super sharp. This is as sharp as any high quality Puko knife from Finland. 
like a Mora or a Martini. This is a very sharp knife straight out of the box. So be careful with it. Okay, here it is beside the 140 millimeter uh, Tarava Jakari Puko in stainless steel. This is the stainless steel one. Even so, I do have some oil on the blade, even though it's not really necessary. And the, the rubber handle on this one is kind of like a medium gray. And then this one is the high carbon steel, same size. And it has a black rubber handle. So you can see this is the carbon steel, this is the stainless steel. They're both really excellent, really sharp knives. And other than the differences in the steel, they're, you try to line this up, if I can, pretty much identical. So this was on back order, so I had to wait for it a while, but it finally came in. They're available right now. So I picked this up. If you get it without the sheath, it's a super, super affordable deal, but you're going to need a sheath. It's just way too sharp of a knife, so it'll end up costing you anyhow. So you might as well just get the $29 sheath because it's worth every penny. It's an excellent sheath. And here it is beside the uh, Tarava Scrama big chopper knife. It's got some oil on the blade there. And I put a tentacle wrap on the handle just for some extra cushion, which it really didn't need, but I just put it on there anyhow. So now I have the big carbon steel chopper and the mid-sized carbon steel knife. And there's even one of these slightly smaller. I think it's 110, 110 millimeter. But this one is the 140 millimeter. And when you put the knife back in, you give it a little push, and you hear it kind of, whoops, you hear it kind of thud down in there. And then you buckle this snap, and it's in. Like it's not coming out. And then you got the D-ring dangler there, so not a bad setup at all. Okay, the steel on this blade is 80 CR V2 high carbon stainless steel. It's 4.20 millimeters thick. It's 140 millimeters in length. It's hardened to 59 on the Rockwell scale. And it is a 23 degree angle on the Scandi grind blade there. It arrives pretty much razor sharp. It is shaving sharp. This is a really nice package for the price. And it seems like they do keep going up in price year after year. So they're still affordable. So you should get, get your hands on some of them. You get them from a company in Finland. It's varustalika.com. And for about $14, $15 shipping, they ship them to you in three business days. And I highly recommend going that route because if you go the cheaper shipping route, you might wait up to 21 days and nobody wants to wait 21 days. So, I mean, just pay a little extra in shipping. It's not that much more. And in three business days, this will be on your doorstep. <clears throat> uh, this is Joe Doomsday signing out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video.